Welcome back to another episode of Stellaris Utopia. And the uh, the pot continues to boil with the um, Kareem Arbitrators. Is that how you pronounce the it? Evil penguins. Oh, I said they're evil. Evil penguins. I wonder if they go well with uh, plum sauce and pancakes and a little bit I of spring so. onion and some cucumber. I'm sure the hive will shortly find out. I'm really hungry now. I should, probably should have gone and got some food, but... Never mind. Let's... <laughs> should we go up to fast speed? Is that right with you guys? That's nah, fine with me for the time being, yeah. How about you, Toad? Better go for it. All right. Off we go. So what are you doing, Joe? Are you going to eat them? Building ships. <laughs> building lots of ships. Well, building a steady stream of ships anyway. Right. So that I can then have them uh, pulled apart again later. <laughs> so it's fun. So, James, how good are they at rebuilding their fleet when you... Really crap. You've got so... to have uh, space ports left to be able to rebuild a fleet. Yeah, it'll take them a long time to take out all my spaceports. Oh, how good are they at rebuilding? No, I just wonder how many uh, how many times I can throw a fleet at them. Uh, you need whether to basically I can wear them fleet. down economically or not. Um, if you do it early on, maybe. If you leave it any time, then you've actually got to get about three of us together to generally take one of them out. If you're equivalent to them now, you might stand a chance, but going to be pushing it. Mm. But they will just get stronger. Yeah, because that's normally what I do with the uh, with like the other crises is just hit them really quickly. But this seems way position, scarier. <laughs> how big's your fleet? Well, that's kind of a real, It's about 100k. Stand a chance, then. Well, I'm going to have my snack and see how they react. <laughs> um, and if they react badly, then I'll... Uh, I'll obviously have to fight them, then. I won't have any choice. So I'm going to build up to my fleet cap, and I'm going to attack the snack. And then we'll see what happens. Attack the snack. Yep. Ben. Yeah. It's... Um. I'm over the Warsaw demands, but how long is this going to take for them to actually uh, decide that war's a really bad idea? I don't know. Um... Who's who's the war leader though on on the other side? Is it Ben? Oh. Yeah, it's the ones I'm crushing. So yeah. Fair it's point. a shame. That this doesn't have a sophisticated system as E4, uh, where you could separate piece. It probably will do eventually. Oh, I'm sure it will. Someday. Ooh, Titanic Beast. It does always strike me that Stellaris should basically be much more like E4 in its war system and less like CK2. Seems to be a much better fit, so hopefully eventually it will all be more like that. things like not having to completely premeditate all your war demands at that and things would be nice yeah i did always find that a bit weird like the the general war system in paradox games is being but the um 
the fact that it, this, like in ZK2, you have to actually be exactly what you want before and then you can't change your mind in any way. The, the E4 system is way more flexible. Right, so a war has just broken out. Ooh. Uh, between the sovereignty of Atlas and the Anth Anthetherian Commonwealth. Oh, just one second, we're out of war. Our war's just ended. And they aren't immediately jumping on them, which is a good sign for me, I think. But they'll probably jump on me when it comes to the genocide part, but hey. Who have they gone to war with? Where are those guys? Oh, well, that's not... It's not a very... It's a very one-sided war. Yeah, yeah. But still, well, so will mine be. <laughs> Trust me. I might do it now. Oh. Oh. This could be the end of my game. Really? Well, if the uh, Fallen Empire jump, well, we'll see. <gasps> He's done it. He's only gone and done it. See how angry the space penguins get. We shall see. I think it'll be the genocide that's over the edge. <laughs> the genocide that broke the penguins back. Oh, actually, their current opinion of me is actually better than it was just before, because I've got mutual threats now, apparently. But I think it's the genocide that they're going to object to. But sadly, I can't help it. Just the way I'm made. <laughs> I don't want. I want to assimilate them, but I have to start genociding them first. Ah, uh, how bizarre. Why have I not already split this? Yeah, it's not much point in keeping this fleet together against these webs, but hopefully their fleet will be sitting waiting for me. I might, um, I might need a pause at the end of this war so that I can just go immediately into gene modding to see if that makes any difference. I don't really want to do that at uh, at slow, at fast speed. Crunch, 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 crunch. Ah, uh, I'm on. Search complete. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the quicker I get this over and done with, the, the better. Oh, 
Construction complete. Construction complete. Is it going to be a very quick war, Joe? Hopefully. As usual, I haven't quite got enough. Is there anything that I didn't prepare so well for? Going all right though. Cool. I don't really have much, you know, of a fleet to speak of. Really? All right. How big is it? Well, <laughs> none. I blown them all up. I think. Oh, sorry. They. I thought you said you didn't have one. No, no. My fleet's fine. It's good because I can't really pay for it at the moment. <laughs> Actually, I have taken quite bad losses. I think that was possibly because I didn't have good enough energy reserves, so my fleet was a bit shit. But like I say, they haven't got one now, so as long as I can finish this off and then rebuild, I should be okay. Cool. There we go. Can we have a pause? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Right. Uh, <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Turn, turn. No, this is the end of that kind of thing. Well, it's temporarily yum, 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 which is why I need to very quickly integrate them. Uh, modify. Oh, of course, you're um, hive minded. You're hive minding them, all of them. Modify. And then research. And also, I'm just going to do the sectoring. Sector. Okay. Uh, can I pause? I'll, I'll do it. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. What exactly are you offering me? I don't understand hey. these sometimes. Oh, James. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. What's up? Just suddenly loads of activity in the uh, in the system. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are very pissed off with me now.
the uh, Fallen Empire. Yep. Like how pissed off? Very. Scale of one to a thousand. Many, many lots. Uh, their opinion of me currently is minus 277. That's nothing. Wait till it hits about minus a thousand and they actually start insulting you. Um, God, I've got to get rid of this energy issue. That's better. So, I now have, or I will do in a month, I have two things in the hive. Wee, more hive. Yep. So I don't have to eat them. Yeah, there we go. Plus the map looks better. Well, that's the most important thing. Yeah. Now I can start fixing stuff. Well, if I can get away with that, I can just keep eating things until I'm powerful enough to kill the arbitrators. Seems like a plan. Oh, this is amazing having another species. It means I've got some different habitability traits. What are they like? How else can I improve them? Oh, this is so much fun. And I didn't get killed for it. Yes. Oh, I need to modify them a bit, though. Wasteful. Let's remove that trait. <laughs> can we give them delicious no no I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite sure you ever give anyone deli oh I guess you modify them if you're already eating them yeah then they provide pl plus 100% food wow that's crazy so what happens when you eat them does it like do you just get a um... do they just get converted into food oh uh, what for your food stocks yeah Food. Doesn't the map look nice nowadays? It's a lot. It's a lot more cleaner. I've got rid of most of the little bubbles. Oh, they mind. just declared war on me. Oh shit! <laughs> oh um, hell! Can we share sensor links, is Joe? Yeah. Um, send me a thing. Uh. <laughs> oh, I was so happy for a few moments. There we go. I've paused it as well. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm gonna let them come on for a bit. Do you want some help? So, so nothing, nothing much is gonna happen yet. Well, we'll we'll see how it goes. Let All me right. just enjoy my smug big, big on the map moment for a few more seconds. There we go. No, it's fine. I'm ready to die. Yeah, but you need to accept everything so we can watch you die. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. Ah, excellent. Right. Five death. Does this come wow, under the... Five is big. Some people just want to watch the world burn, sort of. Uh... Yeah, that's totally me. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing with your nihilist memes, then? Um... 
Ready to go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Where's the fight? Not there yet. Oh, we're Nothing's not going to happen straight away. I'm not oh, going oh. straight at them. I want them to come on a bit. It's almost like you've played Paradox games before. I don't think it's going to help me. I wonder if I offered them a white piece. <laughs> right, I need to get up to that fleet cap. <laughs> uh, of course, they're going to use yump drives as well, aren't they? Which means I just won't even see them coming. Yump and Yemeni. So, other Fallen Empire, any chance of you waking up? No. <laughs> Tempted just to send them an insult. What, the other one? Probably. Just to try and yeah. <laughs> what, so they declare war on you as well? It, it worked for... Um, it worked for Sheridan, didn't it? That, that's what basically happened in Babylon 5. He just slagged Kosh off until they attacked the Shadows. Somehow, really non-useful right now. Tech picks don't seem like my first order of business. Hmm. Do they involve weaponry? No. Oh. Well, only crappy weaponry that I haven't bothered been bothering to have for ages anyway. Let's recruit a Scott Manley. That'll cheer me up. <laughs> Wow, it's a big fleet. Oh, that'll be useful. Um, I actually getting some useful tech. Are they attacking me at the moment? I'm not actually looking. Uh, can't see them. Good. I can't see them. My uh, trade deal with their active sensor links has uh, dropped off. Yeah, that would be good. You could link me info. I would have okay. been able to, to, yeah. They obviously saw that one coming. Why is the jump drive tech a dangerous tech? Because it um, brings on the, uh, you know, invaders from another dimension, whatever they're called. Uh... Third space. It's obviously not third space, because that would be ripping but off Babylon that's 5. That's clearly yeah. where it comes from, though. Is it guaranteed to trigger it? Pretty much. <sighs> I should have done more of the ship designing stuff earlier. Uh... The unbidden. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Interesting. Why are you asking, Ben? You don't happen to be researching it, do you? Um, no. That'd be risky and foolish. 
Yeah, but it might distract people. When I say people. <laughs> Space penguins. Yeah, them. Right. Yes. Now build some of the damn things. Do you know what I am looking forward to them doing? Uh, a army macro builder so that you can just say, build these things in the optimal space yards. I don't care which ones. Use the ones that have the, you know, assembly yards for the right type. Yeah. Because they're blatantly going to do that. Uh, I just wish they'd do it now. Sooner rather than later, yeah. Uh, is any of this going to help me? Maybe. Oh my god. More of those. Why not? <laughs> right. What's going on? Are you sure you're at war with me? Yeah. We will show you who the true powers of the galaxy are. Do you think I've got anything to lose by sending them an insult at this stage? I don't think you've really got much to lose for. Uh, we have evaluated Emperor Zax as a candidate for joining the Hive. Sadly, we must inform you that membership requires a rudimentary brain. <laughs> <laughs> so sending that. <laughs> oh, they've actually got way more oh that actually gave them an extra minus 200 opinion they were actually coming around to not hating me i shouldn't have done that oh no <laughs> like considering at war is only minus 50 uh insulted is now minus 198 <laughs> i think they don't i think they take particular exception to younger races to insulting them <laughs> do you think i should make a preemptive strike yes I knew you'd say that, so that's why I'm not going to do it. No, actually, I'm, I might do it when I get to my fleet cap, because then why not? What else is going to happen in this war? Exactly. Oh, I've got... Uh... Oh, I know why not, because then I'll be fighting in their territory. They might be scared of me. Um, got... um, I've got a science ship, actually, in their territory at the moment, if, if you'd like to know anything about anywhere. Um... Is there anything I can say to take back that insult? That's what I'd like to know. Good what? Is there anything I could say to take back that um, insult? Uh, you could take so so Arto, and uh, that would probably take back the insult by just removing one of their planets. Well, what what were your walls? Um, have they got many defensive what's it's in? Oh, actually, I can see there because I've got a shared sensor link with you, and yeah. your ship is there. I can actually see in that system so they've got no defensive stations there no can you so see there's no can you there's see no real fleet? disadvantage to fighting there right i'm at i'm getting up i've about 40 away from my fleet cap now so i'm going to build up to my fleet cap and then i'm going to attack there if they haven't already attacked me yeah well, well i'm just gonna populate the area with science ships for you thank you very much I'm tempted to come and help you trash them. Well, you can. I just don't want them ruining oh, the game. Right. Oh. oh, I've just I've just moved my science ship. Yeah, I can see their fleet. Fleets. I mean, technically, mine's bigger. Oh no, it's not. There's another one. All right, <laughs> this is bigger. It's and they're high attack. So basically, I'm gonna wipe my fleet out, but then. They'll probably attack me, and I'll die. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the move. Well, it's, it's good to know. When are what you jumping the... into... Oh, are you waiting to get I your, I don't your know. fleet I, cap? I, I, I feel differently about it now. Oh. <laughs> I guess they won't attack me. I, I, I guess they're worried about attacking me. I'm worried about attacking them. 
If I jump in, take some damage, jump out again, at least that'll get things kicked off and my hopefully my superior economy. Probably stand a better chance if we jump in together. Yeah, sure. I'd rather see <laughs> I'd rather see you beat them than um uh, destroy you. Although uh, I, are you but that will involve you having to be at war with them. I know, yeah, but Although maybe they'll just uh, put you down to a more reasonable size, but you won't be out of the game completely. Mm. Oh, I am moving my my fleet to the Trappist system in as a staging point. Oh no, actually, I'm upgrading it. God, I had upgrades sitting there all this time. Construction complete. Ha, <laughs> Trappist. Ooh. An ascension perk. This isn't going to help. <laughs> yeah, I'm not far off from getting mine. Although I still haven't got the text, um, a couple of the texts that I need to get it. I'm getting a bit worried that I'm not going to get them. Oh, I'm at my fleet cap. Just waiting for my ships to upgrade. So I'll actually be with the other stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, I might as well not stop at my fleet cap because I'm gonna lose those ships anyway. So it's just right. Move to the trapper system where there's no wormhole. Oh, let's build one. Uh, Vakwark, one of my uh, observation posts has just descended into nuclear war. There's nothing left. <laughs> oh dear. Oops. I'm making sure I've got a couple of science ships in a so, uh, so I can uh, see what's going on. So, are you going to fight them or not, Ben? Yeah, I've just decided? arrived. At, I've just arrived at Trappist. Oh yeah, so you have. I can see you. Nice looking fleet. It's all right. It's not as big as yours. No, but it's it's pretty. Oh, ascension perk. Oh, that is a very pretty looking fleet. Mine's just arriving. I think. Yeah, yeah. Mine's just arriving on the other side of the system. Well, this is and frustrating. Building. I've got an empty ascension perk slot, but I haven't got the text for the one that I want. Oh, well, you can just leave it sitting there. That's what I had to do at the end. Yeah, I'm just worried that I'm not going to get those texts, but I don't see why I wouldn't. Come on, or not autonomous drone forty six. You can do it. <sighs> there you go. Jump. That's my that's my fleet next to yours. Oh oh oh, uh, oh yeah. I was going to jump over to the next system because I'm stuck with uh, hyperlanes. So yeah yeah. Well, I'm just waiting for my wormhole station. Right, it is built. I'm just going to so, jump over uh, to. Just let me know when you're ready to go, because I am now ready to go. Uh, I could be making a really bad decision joining this, but I'm going to join it. Are you going to do it? Yeah, I need to declare war with him, but I've just got to jump to this other system first. Okay, let me know when it's th when I should absolutely go. Okay. Meanwhile, might as well keep building over my cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cooling down. Cool down. Right, declaring war now, so go whenever you want. I am jumping into the SAO system now. Okay. Oh, oh crap, I forgot about the war guns. Oh, I better get some armies ready as well. Just in case it comes to that. Probably not, but... 
bit preemptive. Better to be prepared. Boy Scouts in space. In space. We have declared war. Yeah, I love that announcement. So what's your plan? Are you going to sit, sit in that system and and hope the fleet well, comes to you? I expect it will. Blow up as much stuff as possible. Okay. On my way. Should get the uh, military station before they even get here and some of their mining stations. Not, not a bad start. I'm wearing them down, hopefully. I've just jumped in. No sign of them yet. So I guess I'll start massing those troops nearby. Oh dear, we've timed this really badly. Why? I forgot it's the uh, end of the episode. Oh, I see. Well, I was going to leave it on an exciting note. We're fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, with that, let's um, let's call it the end of the episode. Um, and yeah, come and join us next time. But and we shall see if they'll come and try and stop us. But yeah, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye from me. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye, Samir. Forever.